Well, Jeremy Hansen here from Fox Valley Technical College for Life on the Farm. And joining me today is Jeff Ditzenberger. Jeff, thank you so much for your time today. Well, thanks for having me, Jeremy. Yeah. I appreciate it. Jeff, we're at the Oshkosh Farm Show this week. And remind me again, what do you do for Big Iron? So I'm the district manager for Big Iron Auctions. We're an online auction company that's based out of uh, Nebraska and uh, started by a couple of farm kids, FFA kids, that uh, saw a need to help farmers move their assets either during retirements or uh, maybe they had some excess surplus equipment and stuff. So they started an auction company and then uh, down the road saw that maybe being on the internet might, might help people out instead of just being in the local communities and uh, actually did their first online auction on dial-up. Uh, there's a cool video of it where, you know, they say internet in at $200 and everybody's looking around like what's going on and uh, now with what we went through in 2020 during COVID we're strictly an online auction company platform uh, we sell livestock ag equipment uh, real estate classic cars classic tractors uh, the whole gamut of, of uh, equipment like that right and, and Jeff how has auctions been this year so far um, they're still steady. I mean, I feel like the industry has kind of corrected itself a little bit. We're not seeing the, you know, the record-breaking prices like we did a couple years ago. Supply chain has been improved some on that, but uh, we're still getting a lot of phone calls and getting a lot of auctions out there. We're on every Wednesday, uh, selling thousands of items, and and uh, you know, we're just we're getting that exposure for people instead of just their local exposure. We're getting them out in front of 600,000 plus registered bidders uh, every Wednesday. Right, and, and Jeff. You know, besides Big Iron, you were just involved in a documentary that just aired on, on PBS, like this week, actually. Tell me about that a little bit. So I had got the opportunity uh, to be on a full-length documentary. Uh, it showcases four farmers from across the Midwest, uh, myself in Wisconsin as a, as a uh, corn and soybean farmer, because that's what I was doing before I started this. I've been a farmer basically my entire life. I had my first calf when I was about four years old. Basically, um, it kind of goes through our struggles with agriculture, not just from prices and, and uh, the lack of control that we have in that business, but also uh, a lot of mental health things. Uh, addictions, alcoholism, uh, and that kind of stuff, and, and how we've how we've succeeded in in, in moving past that, and hopefully um, getting that message out there, the message of hope that you know what you can talk to people about your problems. It's okay to not be okay, and uh, um, just because you're having a bad day doesn't mean that it's a bad life. Right. And the, and the name of the documentary is Greener Pastures, correct? Yes, it's Greener Pastures. Right. And you know this is an absolute real look at of common problems every farmer faces, right? It is, and it was kind of interesting when I first got the email and, and asked me if I would be be part of it. I was, first I thought I was being scammed, obviously, and then I'm like, oh, yeah, let's, let's take a look at it. And uh, uh, it's about as close to reality TV as you can get. Um, they were in, they lived in my house for different times throughout the four or five year time period. Obviously COVID slowed things down quite a bit. Uh, went to my speaking events, went to, you know, did, um, you know, went through a couple harvests and planting seasons with me and saw the breakdowns and saw the, I mean, even Santa gets mad on, on, on the film. <laughs> I'll just right. give a little segue right. on that. Uh, that's one of the things I do in my community is I, I, I'm uh, the, the big fat, jolly red suited guy. And, uh, but it just brings back that whole reality that we're all, we all have struggles. We all have things that are, that are, troubling us or, or, or giving us challenges. And, and obviously in the agricultural community, just like the veteran community, we speak a different language. And uh, that's what we kind of want to do is, is let the consumers know that, you know, one, food just doesn't come from their grocery store. Uh, there's people out there that are still putting blood, sweat, and tears in. And uh, we want to let those people that are producing it know that it's okay to have some of those tears. In the documentary, you mentioned you, you had a, a nonprofit. You're part of a nonprofit yep. group, correct? Yep. So I had my own suicide attempt when I got out of the service uh, right after Desert Storm. Kept it a secret. Uh, actually, got charged with a crime. Kept it a secret for many, many years because uh, I was less embarrassed of the stigma of having the uh, felony on my record than I was of admitting that I had had mental and, and suicidal thoughts. And, uh, anyways, buried a really good friend of mine in 2014. Wrote a blog about it for the Wisconsin Farm Bureau Federation, and uh, it went viral. And then I did a, a speech for uh, a Madison Dane County uh, Safe Communities and talked a little bit about my military career. I was on a great big ship that needed a tugboat to get it into, into, into port, or if we broke down, you know, they'd, they'd get us uh, out, of the, out of the ocean and into getting repaired. And I got to thinking, why can't life be like this? Like if you're a big ship struggling out there, why can't you have a tugboat that you can call? And so Tugs was born, talking, understanding, growing, and supporting, because even big ships need little ships sometimes. Right, and it's a wonderful story. 
I, I think we can probably view this on PBS, uh, on their website, correct? Yes, the documentary is on uh, PBS. Uh, again, it's called Greener Pastures. Uh, you can simply Google Greener Pastures documentary and it'll pull that up. Uh, it'll be streaming on Independent Lens uh, for a while. Uh, if you want more information about my organization, um, we have a website, tugsgroup.com. Uh, otherwise, if you want to get a hold of me, it's the same. It's uh, tugsgroup at gmail.com. Jeff, thank you so much for your time today. I really appreciate your story. And again, this document was excellent. Thank you. And as I tell everybody, you know, in a world where we can be anybody, anything you want, be kind, but remember to be kind to yourself too. Absolutely. So for Life on the Farm, I'm Jeremy Hansen.